Step into a world where laughter echoes through the halls of a modest Chicago apartment, where each character is a member of your own family and every episode feels like a timeless tale. Picture this, it's 1974, and a brand new TV series called Good Times graces your screen, instantly capturing your heart and etching itself into your memory. As the theme song fills the room, you can't help but smile, transported to a place where struggles and triumphs intermingle in the most genuine way. Remember that moment, the one where you first met the Evans family, their infectious energy seeping into your soul, making you feel like part of their journey. Florida, James, JJ, Thelma, Michael, and Wilona, names that have become synonymous with warmth and relatability. In those half-hour episodes, you laughed, you cried, and you felt a connection that transcended time. And as you recollect those cherished moments, you might find yourself reminiscing about JJ's famous catchphrase, Thelma's dreams, or Michael's wisdom beyond his years. Now, let's delve deeper into the fabric of this iconic show. Here are some random facts that will reignite your love for good times and shed light on the magic behind the scenes. Did you know that the series was a spin-off of another beloved show, Mod, and that its creators, Eric Monty and Mike Evans, drew from their own experiences to infuse authenticity into the characters? These tidbits weave a richer tapestry of appreciation for the show that touched so many lives. So, let's journey back to those memorable times, where the struggles were real but the love was even more tangible. Let's celebrate the impact of good times on television history and on our hearts. Get ready to unravel more fascinating insights into the show that remains a beacon of classic television. And remember, it all began with that very first encounter, a moment that changed your TV watching experience forever. Black activists' impact on good times and the rise of the Jeffersons in the early days of the 1974 TV series Good Times. The show faced its fair share of criticism from Black Panther activists. Confronting Norman Lear within the confines of his tandem production's office, these activists questioned the portrayal of characters living in a poverty-stricken slum, grappling with crime, and perpetuating stereotypes about the black experience. This impassioned confrontation catalyzed a pivotal shift in the television landscape. Lear, the visionary behind Good Times, listened intently to these concerns and recognized the need for a different perspective. The activists' questions struck a chord, prompting Lear to pivot his creative direction. The result, The Jeffersons, a show aiming to present a more positive, upwardly mobile depiction of a black family's life. The Jeffersons, a spin-off born from the dialogue sparked by these activists, shifted the narrative to an affluent African-American family residing on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. This new show was envisioned as a counterpoint to good times, aiming to dismantle existing stereotypes and offer a portrayal of black success an aspiration. While good times continued to run its course, the legacy of this confrontation reverberated. The impact of Black Panther activists' intervention laid the foundation for the Jeffersons to ascend, showcasing a different facet of the Black experience while endeavoring to redefine representation on television. In this dynamic interplay of activism, artistic response, and entertainment industry evolution, the voices of the activists left an indelible mark on the television landscape. Fostering a transformative journey from the challenging beginnings of good times to the groundbreaking emergence of the Jeffersons. Jimmy J.J. Walker's character in Good Times inspired by Ed Norton in the realm of iconic television characters. Jimmy Walker's portrayal of J.J. in the 1974 TV series Good Times stands out as a beloved figure. What many may not know is that Walker drew inspiration for his character's distinctive mannerisms from another classic TV personality, Ed Norton from The Honeymooners. Walker's comedic flair and exaggerated gestures were a nod to Art Carney's unforgettable portrayal of Norton. This subtle homage added an extra layer of nostalgia to Walker's portrayal, contributing to the charm and lasting impact of good times. The cross-generational link between these two characters highlights the interconnectedness of television history, where influences from the past continue to shape the narratives of the present. The nuances of representation and irony in good times in 1974, the television landscape welcomed a groundbreaking series that aimed to reflect the experiences of an African-American family in a Chicago housing project. Good Times, a creation of TV maestro Norman Lear, brought forth characters and stories that resonated with viewers across the nation. 
Amid the comedic moments and societal critiques, the show managed to generate discussions about representation, irony, and the broader challenges faced by marginalized communities. At the center of this discourse was the character JJ, portrayed by Jimmy Walker. JJ's mischievous antics often ignited debates about whether his depiction amounted to a negative portrayal of African-American youth. Walker was quick to defend his character's portrayal, contending that while JJ's actions may have been rambunctious, they rarely veered into criminal territory. He notably pointed out that JJ's refusal to join a gang resulted in him getting shot, highlighting a dimension of the character that transcended mere stereotypes. Walker's pointed response included a rhetorical question that underlined a double standard. Was the fonts from Happy Days considered a negative portrayal of white youths? Digging further, the show's title itself carried a layer of irony. The soulful, blues-infused theme song lamented the hardships and struggles of life in the ghetto, painting a gritty picture that resonated with the show's narrative. The scripts and plot lines often navigated tough and somber themes, reinforcing the show's commitment to realism. This paradox between the show's title and the unflinchingly realistic storytelling was a subtle commentary on the complexities of life in marginalized communities, where the pursuit of good times often collided with the harsh realities of daily existence. Amid the series' impact on television history, one notable cast member, John Amos, ventured into a spin-off that added another dimension to his career. In 704 Hosser, Amos stepped into the shoes of family patriarch Ernie Cumberbatch. The show, a spin-off of All in the Family, attempted to navigate socio-political conversations within the context of a diverse family dynamic. Despite its short run of just six episodes in April and May 1994, Amos' involvement in 704 Hosser marked a unique milestone, making him the sole actor to have led two distinct roles in Norman Lear's productions. Good Times undeniably left its mark as a significant television series of its era, prompting discussions on representation, irony, and the trials faced by marginalized communities. Through J.J.'s portrayal, the show illuminated complexities that transcended stereotypes, while its title and narrative choices delved into the juxtaposition of aspirations and harsh realities. The career trajectory of John Amos further punctuated the series' historical impact culminating in an exploration of family dynamics and changing times. In retrospect, Good Times continues to serve as a lens through which television's ability to reflect and shape society is examined, sparking conversations that remain as relevant as ever. Good Times unveiled, shared birthdays, and serendipitous casting in the vibrant tapestry of television history. The 1974 series Good Times stands as an emblematic portrayal of life's struggles, and joys within the context of a Chicago housing project. Amidst the show's compelling narratives, a remarkable alignment of destinies took center stage, highlighted by the uncanny connection between two of its key actors, Janet Dubois and Chip Fields, the talented thespians behind the characters Penna's adopted mother and birth mother, held an extraordinary bond beyond the small screen. Their birthdays, separated by six years, coincidentally fell on the same date, August 5th. Born in 1945 and 1951 respectively, their shared birth date echoed the parallelism that often threads through the show's themes, the unity and diversity, and the interplay between individuality and community. Good Times was no stranger to casting serendipity. One such instance unfolded in the Wayans Bros. Season 4, Episode 5 titled Unspoken Token. In a surreal dream sequence, Sean Wayans found himself transported to the world of the Evans family. In an enchanting twist, original cast members Byrne Nadette Stannies, Johnny Brown, and Janet Dubois reprised their roles. Dubois, with a delightful duality, also assumed the role of Sean in Marlon's grandmother in the series, adding a touch of whimsy and nostalgia to the episode. Beyond the coincidences, the show bestowed lasting phrases into the pop culture lexicon. James Evans, portrayed by John Amos, bestowed the moniker the Rona Barrett of the projects upon Wilona Woods, portrayed by Janet Dubois. This phrase, both endearing and playful, encapsulated the sassy yet caring nature of Wilona's character, a character who consistently lit up the screen with her charm and charisma. Good Times remains an indelible emblem of its era, weaving tales of resilience, laughter, and love within the fabric of a Chicago housing project. 
Through shared birthdays, unexpected cast reunions, and iconic phrases, the show left an indomitable mark on television history. A mark that continues to resonate with audiences, reminding them of the enduring power of family, community, and the human spirit. Good Times, a look back at the iconic 1974 TV series in the vibrant landscape of 1970s television. Few shows captured the essence of working class life quite like Good Times. Premiering in 1974, the series delved into the struggles and triumphs of the Evans family, a dynamic cast that resonated deeply with viewers across America. While various aspects of the show have become the stuff of television lore, one intriguing facet remains a focal point in the show's history. Amid the show's fourth season, a significant decision by actress Esther Roll sent shockwaves through its production. Roll, portraying Florida Evans, matriarch of the Evans household, took a stand against the portrayal of her on-screen son, J.J., played by Jimmy Walker. Roll believed that J.J.'s character was veering down a path that didn't align with the positive values she believed the show should uphold. Fearing that J.J. was becoming a detrimental role model for young black viewers, Roll chose to depart the series. However, the power of change cannot be underestimated. Determined to address Roll's concerns and steer the show back on track, producers initiated a transformative shift for J.J.'s character. The promise of making him more respectable and responsible led Roll to return at the inception of the sixth and final season, demonstrating the significance of collaborative efforts in shaping the narrative and impact of a TV series. A curious parallel can be drawn between Good Times and another iconic show of the era, Happy Days. As Good Times gained momentum, the show's cast reached a level of popularity that ignited enthusiastic audience reactions. Applause and cheers erupted from viewers as certain actors, most notably Jimmy Walker and his portrayal of J.J., entered the scene. This phenomenon mirrored the fervor witnessed in the audience of Happy Days, a show occupying the same Tuesday night time slot on ABC throughout the 1970s. Yet, what often goes unsung is the role of music in cementing a show's identity. The theme song of Good Times is etched in the memories of many. Notably, Motown artists James Gilstrap and Sandra Williams lent their voices to bring the iconic theme to life. Behind the scenes, Quincy Jones, an acclaimed figure in the music industry, contributed by singing the original demo. The harmonious collaboration between these talents underscored the show's commitment to authenticity in every aspect. In retrospect, Good Times continues to stand as a testament to the era it represented. From its narrative evolution driven by concerns for positive role models, to the shared enthusiasm of its audience, and the melodic anthem that anchored its soul, the show remains a poignant portrayal of life's ups and downs. It serves as a reminder that the synergy of artistic expression and social responsibility can leave a lasting legacy on the canvas of television history. As we bid adieu to this nostalgic journey through the vibrant tapestry of the 1974 TV series Good Times, we're reminded that every laugh, every tear, every heartfelt moment has left an indelible mark on our hearts. The Evans family's struggles and triumphs became a reflection of our own experiences, illuminating the universal themes of hope, resilience, and the power of love amidst adversity. As you contemplate the echoes of those bygone days, I encourage you to take a moment to delve into your personal connection with the show. What were the scenes that stirred your emotions? Which characters felt like lifelong companions on your own life's journey? Whether it's the catchy theme song that still hums in your mind or the poignant dialogues that have stayed with you, these memories are a testament to the lasting impact of good times. In this digital age, sharing your treasured recollections has never been easier. Whether through a heartfelt comment or a social media post, your thoughts can ignite a chain reaction of reminiscence and connection. So, let your voice be heard, your memories be shared, and your love for good times shine brightly. Thank you for embarking on this journey down memory lane with us. Your time and interest are sincerely appreciated. Let's keep the spirit of good times alive, weaving its threads into the fabric of our lives, one memory at a time. Warmly, your name.